Italian Cucina. Today, it's going to be me. Oh, me. That's right. Vito couldn't be here today. You know, he had a big night last night. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to go Granny G's meatloaf with some special ingredients. But first, I want to show you something special. I just picked this up at the 99 cent store. What do you think? This is this lovely. Look at this momo. And this is how I got Mickey. Anyway, don't look at that. Don't do that. But anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to show you what we got going here. And it's going to be great. Ready? Come on in. Here we got three eggs beaten up. You know, sort of like Mickey. He loves to get beat up. I, I just, uh, I really kind of love it when he pulls my hair. But anyway, that's another story. So now here we got a little bit of breadcrumbs. This is how many breadcrumbs is in here? This is uh, one half of a cup of breadcrumbs. And over here is a third cup of chopped onions. Then we got my little secret ingredient, which is some bacon. You know, you know, you know about Granny and her pork. Anyway, so you put in how much you want. And then when this is for the end, when we're finished, you put it on top. It's a little bit of parsley. And then I'm going to use some beautiful ketchup, organic ketchup, salt, and pepper. Pepper and salt. And a bowl. This is what we're going to use. And I went ahead and I greased the bowl. You know what I'm saying? That's going to help us. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go here and mix everything in. This is why it's so easy. Let me come around you and tell you. This is why it's so easy. Cut on. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this in. Here goes the three eggs. Very simple. And then we're going to go and put some breadcrumbs, just like so. And then, of course, the onions. I love that. This is great. Right there. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, the secret ingredient is bacon. And you know what? I'm telling you, I'm using all of that bacon. And then we go ahead and make sure that you go ahead and you put some pepper and some salt in it. Let's do that right now. I love the sound of this. I love that. Look at that, huh? And then a little bit of himalobaloba. This is himalip. Look at it. Can you see that's pink? It's hib um, him himalip himalip and pink salt. Himalip. And you go like this. Put a little bit of that. Not too much. Just like so. Put it in there like that. I love the sound of that, and I think you know why. But anyway, we're going to make sure you wash your hands. Always wash your hands. Get to wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands. Anyway, here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this up now. And we got two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of ground beef, and then, you actually it's three pounds, I think, in here, and then, no, it's two pounds of ground beef. Two pounds of ground beef. Okay, that's, look how beautiful that looks there. Mmm, you see, oh, it smells so beautiful. And now, it's time to wash my hands. Okay, washed and cleaned my hands and dried them off. And why do I wash my hands? Very, very important. So it's time for a little tonic. I think I'll put a little bit of tonic in the meatloaf. Well, maybe I'll put the tonic in Granny. Oh, excuse me. Mm. <coughs> All righty, moving on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. We're going to put it in our bowl. Ready to go? Here we go. I love this part. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful this looks. It goes right in there. Look at that. Right in there. Look at that. Whoa! Boy! Go ahead and get it in there. Nice. Ooh, look at it. It makes just right. Just right. Okay, okay. Here we go. Now for the final touches. You're going to love this. It's a little decorative. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some ketchup right here. And I got this in this little bottle. We're going to put some X's on top. I love it. Look at that. I'm pretty good at this. I, you know what? I should be an artist. I was thinking about doing some painting. You know, we'll go one more there. And then we go like this. Like this. We turn it around this way. Or do we do that that way? See, this is always so confusing to me. I am so confused. And what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm so confused. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's always gorgeous. And one more. Look at that. Look at that. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a little parsley. Here's the parsley right here. And you're going to sprinkle it on top. Watch. Look how gorgeous that looks. Look at this. Ooh, look how simple. Look at that. Took no time at all. Right, folks? No time at all. And now we're going to go and we're going to go ahead, put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Ready? Here we go. Whee. Put it right in there. 
just like so. Now we wait. Okay. Ooh, look how beautiful that looks. It's time to get it out. What's going to happen? Ah! Ooh, yes. No, no, yes. Ooh. Don't ever do that. Wow, wow, wow. Make sure you use the pot holders, you z boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Bring it up. Woo wee. Look how gorgeous that looks, huh? Woo, boy, oh boy. There we go. Hello, thank you for joining us for another edition of Vito's Italian Cucina. And remember, I'm Granny G. That's the most important part. And now, Granny G's meatloaf. Enjoy.